Hey folks, Lisa here from Call That Growth, another quick outlook video of the day. Today's might not be so quick, but what you're looking for is how to create a test or a blank profile in 2016. And I'm gonna get going and show you that right now. And then while we do it, I'll explain a few reasons why I have to do that. So follow my pointer down to the search down here or the run line. And you could type in outlook.exe slash capital P-I-M. The less, than, oop, the less than sign, then whatever you want to name it, I'm just gonna call this Lisa, then the open or the greater than sign, then hit enter. So what this does, it's gonna create a profile without needing an account, which is sometimes nice if Outlook's not opening and you're trying to do some other things. Most people that are troubleshooting Outlook have a lot of problems uh, with this 2016 and adding accounts and um, with the new connector, but I'm gonna show you how that works right now. So after you get a blank profile, you can go to file, add an account. Now what this is doing is it's searching for accounts that you already have set up in your Windows credential area of the computer, which is this right down here, credential manager. So it already stores everything that you once had. So if you already had a profile, it's handy. This is how I like when I have to start up a new profile for folks. Type in the email, hit connect. So now what we did was we set up the blank profile and now we're setting up the exchange down here. And once that's done, it'll pop up and say it's connected to Office 365 or it should. Well, anyway, while that's taking its time, I'll explain. So after you get this primary one set up, then you can go and start adding all the other accounts that you want. And if you do have any issues, then you can come back down here to your control panel and go to your mail app. And then over here, you can see the Lisa one and you can come into here and go add in any other IMAP or pop accounts manually, which is how I do all pop accounts. I do not use the connector, okay? So over here is where you can do all your manual setup for things. Uh, the pop accounts are a little challenging sometimes to set up. So, see this thing is still adding? So at this point, you just gotta sit and wait till it's done because it's talking to all the connections in your computer and the setup and everything. And there's not much you can do while it's sitting there waiting. So uh, let me see what else I can uh, help you guys with while it's doing that. So typically when this is done, then this over here you can remove. But I can't do anything right now because it's stuck. And this is my life, people. I'm sitting there watching process bars. It's all I do all the time. Um, now maybe we can go teach you guys something else in the control panel here. Um, I'll give you another tip while we're just waiting. If you're setting up a G Suite account, this is definitely not the way to set it up. With G Suite, you definitely need to install and connect their uh, download tool. And then once you set up the primary G Suite, you can go in and add Outlook Exchange, or sorry, Exchange Accounts, IMAP, and POP after that. That's another little tip I thought about. And wow, this thing is still just, oh, okay. Well, we just learned a lesson again. This is actually set up already down here was hanging out in the second window. Okay, good. So now we have this here, you can click done. Let this set up. And here's my trick, is if you set up exchanges the primary, which you do wanna do, okay? Then you come over here to file and you can go add more accounts, okay? And because this connector also uses security from each email also, like G Suite, Gmail, they all have their own connections. But then once this is up here and all set up, you can come down here and close this. So now all you have is your exchange account. A little magic trick I do for, for clients to help get it fixed faster because I don't like arguing with an angry outlook. And um, I think that's kind of it here, folks. If you need me for anything, you could call me at 612-865-4475. You can email me, Lisa, at callthatgirl.biz. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you, and have a good day. Bye now.